couple of observations from LSU's ball game and then the Saints coming up next Monday. As far as LSU goes, I love the number of true freshmen that played. 17, that number has historically been between 5, maybe 7 and 8 in these kickoff classic games against an opponent that LSU respected. 17 went to the field, and while the offensive lineman, Sadiq Charles, uh, at Ingram, they acquitted themselves well. Deculus played toward the end. You even got a quarterback in there, Miles Brennan. I enjoyed that. It's the defensive freshman you should be really excited about. Kerry Vincent's going to be a stud for LSU in that nickelback spot. Reminds me a lot of true freshman Dante Jackson. Tremendous speed. He'll be disruptive. And the two inside linebackers, it started with Tyler Taylor, quickly got to Jacob Phillips. I think Donnie Alexander's going to have a hard time keeping those guys off the field for extended stretches, even if and when he's back. So I love the true freshman. I think you ought to be excited about it as well, LSU Nation. Dave Aranda's has got pieces to work with, and they're not building toward the future. Those guys are for right now. As far as the Saints go, something I'll be interested to see. No Willie Sneed for the first three games. And while you would think that divides the pie more toward Ted Ginn Jr., maybe Kobe Fleener, Adrian Peterson coming out of the backfield. He's showing some wares catching the ball. Drew Brees said he wasn't known for that, but he can do it. But there's a guy everybody's forgetting about, and it's the draft pick from Tennessee. I think Alvin Kamara lines up a good bit more in the slot without Willie Sneed these first couple of ball games. I think they have multiple backs in occasionally in the shotgun. I look for Alvin Kamara to be somebody who steals some of these catches Willie Sneed would have had. He's been a tremendous productivity guy the last couple of years out of the slot. Look for the freshman or the freshman, the rookie running back from Tennessee to take some of those cookies and take some of those touches. Don't forget Bumper to Bumper Sports today, live from 4 to 7 at Pete's on Johnston. Shea Dixon flips the script, and we're honoring the St. Thomas Moore Cougars. Keep it locked to Acadiana Sports Station, 103.7 The Game.